Welcome to the session on surface intersections in Plexus Designer software. Today's topics will include functionalities central to the use of Plexus Designer software. In particular, the ability of the software to handle interactions and intersections between surfaces. We will start the presentation with a brief overview of the topics covered, and we will talk through the functionalities related to intersecting surfaces. In particular, we will discuss the intersection dialog, common terms we use in describing functionalities for intersecting surfaces, and then we will talk about the specific functionalities such as how to fix intersecting geometries and creating regions from intersecting profiles and different methods of intersecting surfaces as well as how to resolve overlaps, and then we'll finish with methods to improve the quality of service meshes. It is important to realize that everything in this presentation is strictly related to surfaces and surface meshes. Volume meshes will not be covered in this presentation. Plexus Designer provides a number of different tools to intersect 3D surfaces. These surfaces could be represented as either triangulated meshes or quadrilateral base grids. Once operations are performed on one or more surfaces, the resulting surface would be a new surface. The original surface will always remain unmodified, such that the historical record of the surface operations will be maintained. The new surface generated will be given a default name that can be changed by the user. The surface intersection functionality can be found by selecting one or more surfaces and then clicking on the Actions and Surface Intersection menu items. This will bring up a list of functionalities related to intersecting surface in the software. There are a number of common terms that will be used related to intersecting surface, of which is important the user is familiar with. These terms are as follows. Subject surface are the surface to be modified by the action in question. Clipping surface refers to the surface use as input to the action in question. It is important to realize that clipping surfaces will not be modified by the action, but the user can request an updated version of the clipping surface. An action profile is the set of line segments formed by the intersection between surfaces. The surface will group the segments into closed polylines where possible and open polylines otherwise. Some actions generate regions and polylines of intersections automatically. At this point in time, we need to discuss specific functionalities related to surfaces. One such function is titled Fix Intersecting Geometry. This functionality can be used when there are two surfaces which intersect each other, however, it's not a clean intersection. In other words, there are triangles that are split by the intersection. Engaging this function will ensure that there are no triangles which are split in their intersection between surfaces. The function can be accessed by selecting both surfaces to be intersected while clicking on them while holding down the control key. Then, the function under Actions, Surface Intersections, Fixed intersecting geometries can be utilized to initiate the intersection algorithm. It is also possible to create a region object which follows the intersection pathway between two surfaces. The region is automatically output when two surfaces are intersected in the software. It is also possible to separately generate a surface intersection region under the actions, surface intersections, creating regions from intersection profile functions. The user should note the functionality to build surfaces up or down based on a single clipping surface. 
A typical example of such use is to build an earth dam or an excavated pit into a terrain, or to define a road cut into the side of a hill. In the figure on the right, we can see two selected surfaces and a clipping surface that we desire this two surface to follow up and over. This can be accomplished by the build-up functionality. The user may utilize this functionality by selecting the two or more surface of which to build up and then right-clicking and selecting actions. Surface intersections, build up or down. In the dialog that comes up, the user can select the clipping surface that will be utilized to build up the other surfaces. The result of the function is that new surface will be created for each of the modified surfaces. The original surface will remain unchanged. A similar function is the carve overlap function. This function is similar to the build up or down function with the exception that the clipping surface is used to cut out sections of the surfaces. Any number of surfaces can be selected and carved based on the clipping surface. A similar example of an earth dam built above surface is shown. However, the earth dam clipping surface is used to remove sections from the selected surfaces. To utilize the function, the user can select any number of surfaces and then right-click and select Actions, Surface Intersections, Carve Overlaps, and the Carve Overlaps dialog will be presented to the user. The user can then select the slip clipping surface to use to clip the selected surfaces. There is a function in the software that will take all selected surfaces and merge them all into either an upper or lower surface. Any number of surfaces can be selected and merged into a single resulting surface that either represents the highest elevation at every point more the lowest elevations. The concept is shown with three surfaces in the figure on the right. There is a function in the software that will take all selected surfaces and merge them all into either an upper or lower surface. Any number of surfaces can be selected and merged into a single resulting surface that either represents the highest elevations at every point more the lowest elevations. The concept is shown with three surfaces in the figure on the right. An example application may be related to changes in topography over time due to excavations. The methodology to use the functionalities is to select all the existing surface by holding down the control key and then right click on the selected surface and select actions. Surface intersections merge into new surfaces. The dialog will then appear where the user can complete the selections for the functionality. Overlaps between surfaces are common issues that will cause subsequent problems for meshing a finite element mesh or for properly determining the column elevations in a limit equilibrium analysis. It is extremely important that none of the surfaces overlap each other and create negative volumes. However, it is common to have minor overlaps due to the way that surfaces are either interpolated or extended in normal practice. Therefore, it is common that such overlaps will have to be resolved in order to create a cohesive 3D model. The Resolve Overlaps function in the software is designed to aid in such circumstances. The function modifies each surface based on the surfaces that are above it in the subject surfaces list. The user may utilize this function by selecting all relevant surfaces by clicking on them while holding down the control key. Then, the user can right-click on any surface and select Actions. Surface intersections resolve overlaps. The resulting dialog will allow functionalities to resolve the overlaps based on user-selected options. The user may select 
to adjust each surface such that it is not above any surface that is higher in the list or such that it is not below any surface that is higher in the list. A common functionality in geotechnical engineering is to model the lakes or ponds found at a particular geotechnical site. The Generate Pond menu item can be utilized to create a surface water table at a site in an abbreviated fashion. The user may utilize this functionality by first selecting a point within the desired pond area in which elevation would be below the pond surface. Such a point can be selected through the CAD interface by clicking on the relevant point or the coordinate entered in the dialog. The desired pond elevation in Z coordinates is then entered in the dialog. It is common to have issues related to the generation of 3D finite element meshes in the analysis packages. Therefore, additional functions are provided in Plexus Designer to improve the quality of the generated mesh. Some of these functions include the following. A line mesh is functionality that ensures that the X and Y plane view coordinate of each mesh node has a matching X and Y location node on a different surface. This functionality is useful in situations with thin layers where it is non-ideal if mesh nodes do not align vertically. Having aligned mesh nodes also improves the potential calculation of vertical flow in a groundwater package. The function ultimately replaces the mesh from one geometry object to utilize the mesh from a separate object, but the elevations from the original mesh remain intact. This functionality is often used to eliminate the chance for pinch-outs or other alignment issues as the node pattern in the plan view matches for every surface. Therefore, it is easy to determine if surfaces overlap utilizing the overlap function in the software. The fill hole operation is designed to fill places in a surface mesh which may be an undefined hole in the mesh. Interpolation is used in the fill hole function to calculate node elevations. It is important to note that the sanction functionality can be utilized to smooth over undesired parts of an existing mesh. The user can simply and then execute the fill holes action to fill in the mesh using interpolation based on the adjacent areas. The remesh function initiates a remeshing of a surface mesh with the intent of improving the quality of the surface mesh. If a surface mesh quality is improved, then it will ultimately improve the subsequent quality of the volume mesh generated for the finite element application. It is worth noting that this functionality can be utilized to smooth out small changes in elevation in a mesh, which are not significant to the problem at hand. These small anomalies in the surface can be smoothed over and removed by the remeshing algorithm. It is worth noting that surface mesh elevations are not as significant for groundwater flow, but remain quite significant if slope stability analysis is being performed. The remeshing algorithm has a number of selections in order to guide the remeshing algorithm. Minimum and maximum edge length can be selected as well as the merge distance. The difference between nodes is calculated during the remeshing algorithm and any difference less than the merge distance will result in the nodes being merged together. It is also worth noting that a number of boundary restrictions can be applied to the remeshing algorithm. Further description of the boundary restrictions functionality can be found in the online help with the software. There is also the ability to apply a minimum merge distance to a mesh such that the node have a minimum separation. The point of this functionality is, is to reduce the number of nodes in a surface mesh and ultimately merge adjacent nodes that are close together and their close proximity is not significant for resulting finite element operations.
it is worth identifying that minimum merge distance is applied by default as a 2D plan view distance. The user can select to apply the minimum merge distance as a 3D distance, in which case the vertical separation between nodes will be considered in the remeshing function. It is also worth noting that utilizing this function is also allowed on triangulated meshes and not on grids with quadrilateral elements.